Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made this indoor plant stand. I'm using this concrete planter that I made in my previous video. I started by measuring it out and figuring out what I wanted the dimensions of the stand to be. If you want to see the dimensions I use and how I calculated them, I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description below. You can also see all the tools and materials that I use for this project in the description below. I'm using a 1x2 poplar board for the support braces. I started by cutting it in half and then clamping the two pieces together. I roughly found the center point and marked that off with my combination square. I need to make a 3 quarter by 3 quarter notch in both of my boards, so I measured out 3 eighths starting from the center point on each side, and then I carried that over using my combination square. I then measured the depth of 3 quarter and luckily for me, my ruler is exactly 3 quarters wide. The last thing I did was measure the overall length of the cross braces. Mine was supposed to be 10 and 3 quarters, so I measured 5 and 3 eighths from the center point on each side, and again I carried that over with my combination square. I then removed the clamps and transferred those marks to the top side of the boards. I used my bandsaw to cut out the notches that I had traced out, but you can easily use a handsaw just as well. I then headed over to my drill press and I lined up the outside of the Fossner bit with the marking that I had made on the end. I'm using a 7 8 Fossner bit which is the same size as the dowels that I'm using. I used the miter saw to cut my dowels into the four legs that I needed and I used a stop block so I would have exactly the same length four times. I used my sander to round over the dowels. And I also used some sandpaper to row off any markings that were left over. I'm using dowel pins to hold together my stand, so I made a small template using a piece of cardboard so I could mark exactly where I needed to make my holes. I then used a quarter inch Fossner bit to make the holes into the dowels and into the cross beams. I did a dry fit and although the alignment wasn't perfect, I figured once I had the glue in, I could use a clamp to kind of force the alignment into place. My two pieces needed a little encouragement to fit together, but this is a good thing because I got a really tight fit. I used my favorite stain to finish it off, Early American. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos.